Hi, I'm Kathleen. Thanks for joining us today for our virtual faith trek. Do you like to be outside and active, whether it's snowboarding in the winter or running and jumping in the summertime, swimming and enjoying the world around you? Do you like playing with your friends and whatever kind of games you can play outside, jumping and laughing and having a good time together? Do you like pillow fights and all sorts of fun and excitement? Do you like to run, play sports, and be outside and just keep moving all of the time? Do you ever find it hard to sit still and stop just being quiet? Or do you just like to constantly move and dance and be free in the world? Either way is great. But sometimes we need to be still, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The Word of God For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Hello there. It's Kathleen and I'm at home again. And I hope that you've had a good week since we talked last. We've been at home for a while now and some of you are back at school online. And I know that's something that some of you were doing before Christmas, but some of you weren't. And so I know that's a change. How are you doing with that? Is it hard to sit still in front of the computer all the day long? I know that working from home is hard for me too. When I'm at home, there's lots of distractions and it's not easy to focus. Sometimes life has a lot of distractions in it. Do you know what a distraction is? A distraction is something that takes your attention or your focus or your thinking away from what you want to be doing. Sometimes distractions are welcome. Like if we're doing something we don't want to do, like school or tidying up or work. A distraction's a good thing, but sometimes distractions aren't good because what if the work we're doing is important or if we have to hand in a project at school or we need to finish what we're doing? Sometimes distractions take us away from the things we nearly really need to focus on. Can you think of things that distract you in your life? Maybe video games. For me as a little girl, it was always a book. I could be so distracted by a book that I'd forget to eat. I wouldn't listen to my mom. Well, we talked about that last week. And so I could easily get distracted as a little girl, still as a bigger girl too. Can you think of distractions in your life? Pets, friends, these are things that keep us from focusing on what's important. And in our lives, we're so busy there's lots of things to be distracted about. There's lots of things to think about too. And sometimes our thoughts can distract us. We might have daydreams about what we'd rather be doing instead of the thing we are doing. Or sometimes we might even get worried. We might be afraid about what's going to happen next. Maybe you're worried about when you'll get back to school or when you'll be able to stop wearing a mask or when life will go back to being normal. Sometimes these things distract us and it happens to everybody. Adults get distracted by our thoughts all the time. There are lots of things to worry about, like getting groceries and doing laundry and paying bills and the same worries that you have. When can we stop wearing our masks? When will things get back to normal? When we're so distracted, when our minds are so busy, do we stop and think about God? I don't know about you, but sometimes when my mind is really, really busy, it seems like I don't even think about asking God for help in my busyness. I forget to pray. I forget to think about God. I forget to let God into my life. Has that ever happened to you? Sometimes we need God's help and sometimes we need to be still in order to really talk to God. Have you ever tried to watch TV or read a book 
or do something important when everyone else around you is talking about something different? Have you ever tried to count something like maybe your allowance or um, the number of biscuits that your dog can get or something really important for you in the moment and somebody else starts counting the same time you're counting? You might be at eight, nine, ten, and all of a sudden they start going five, six, seven. Sometimes people do that on purpose. Sometimes they just do it by accident. But it's so hard to focus. Sometimes we just need quiet to do certain things. And one of those things sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes is talking to God. We just need to have a quiet space. And so we have to ask God for help to help us find the quiet, to help us be quiet so that then in that quiet space, we can listen to what God wants us to do. What are some ways that you could create some quiet in your life? What are ways that you could listen to God? It doesn't have to always be still. Sometimes sitting quietly and listening is the best way to connect to God for some people. But some people, some people like to go walk and can connect to God that way. Some people connect to God when they dance. Some people connect to God when they draw, when they're creative. And whatever way you can find to let your mind be still so it can talk to God is okay, even if your body isn't. So think about that. You might even want to talk to your mom and dad and say, how can you help me find ways to be still, to let my mind be still? Sometimes if you're really worried, you can talk to an adult about your fears and then that makes them go away. You can come up with a plan to deal with them. Sometimes writing them down is a way to help your mind be still. Sometimes trusting that someone else will help you with them is a way to let go of those worries that you might have. We're going to talk a little bit more about things that we can do to be still. And maybe at school you've talked about mindfulness or meditating. And those are really awesome ways that people have learned to talk to God or to talk to, to find their stillness to talk to God or to talk to whomever is important to them, whatever God they worship by whatever name. However we get to connect with those things in the world around us that are sacred and holy is important. So we're going to keep talking about that. But think, how can you find ways to be still to quiet your mind, to connect with God. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Exploring the word in the world. Time, time to be quiet, time to reflect, time to sit and think and look at the world and just be quiet. Put your feet on the ground, look at nature around you, look at the world, and think about your place in it, how you're loved by God, how you can love the world outside, how you can help others find a place to be quiet, to simply know who they are, to think, to just simply be quiet, and remember that the world is a good place and that we can make it an even better place by helping those out in the world, by taking time to really think about what we can do to make the world a better place, to simply connect with nature, with ourselves, with each other, to appreciate the beauty of the world around us, to stop being so busy just for a little while and to simply just look and be at the world to see the sun and to know God is there.